Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. So today I'm recording this video around uh, 1 p.m. on Friday. So if this changes by now, I'll do an updated video the following day. But right now I'm looking at the state of Arizona in the Senate race and presidential race and why a call has not yet been made in the state of Arizona. Starting with the Senate race, Democrat Ruben Gallego has a lead over Republican Kerry Lake 50 to 48. It is a 2% lead. However, it has been noted that with each uh, voter uh, drop that there is, where more votes come in, Kerry Lake's deficit has gotten smaller and smaller each time. So that is one reason the Senate race has not yet been called. As for where the votes are out in the state, right now Maricopa County, the largest county in the state, a majority of the people live in this county in Arizona, only 77% of the votes are in. Gallego has a lead over Lake of 5147. In my previous recap video I did for this race, this lead for Gallego is actually larger in Maricopa. It was 52 to 46. So the trend has been, it's been getting smaller in Maricopa County. And seeing how so many people live in this area and how close it is, that is one reason why there has not been able to be a call yet in Arizona is there are more still votes out to come from Maricopa County. Now looking at Pima County, uh, this county is not as large as Maricopa, but still has a pretty sizable population. There are 73% of the votes are in. However, this is a more democratic county than Maricopa is. So even though more votes will come out of Maricopa than Pima, we're still waiting on about 27% of the votes left in this county, which is expected to go for Ruben Gallego over Cary Lake in the following drops. So that's a very important one as well. Another large county, Mojave County, it's smaller than the other two, but 91% is in, 9% or 9 remain, probably a few hundreds to thousands of votes left in this county, so we're waiting on votes from there. Cococino, similar, 91% in, get a few more votes there. Navajo, 10% left to go there. Apache, 40% left to go there. They're smaller, these counties are smaller. Cochise County, 42% in, 58% left to go there. Smaller counties, the main reason is still we're waiting on votes from Maricopa, but we certainly do have a lot of votes left to count around Arizona, which is why we're still waiting for a call to be made in Arizona, as there's too many votes left out right now to make a call, especially in Maricopa County. Once all of Maricopa County comes in, I expect a call to be made very, very close, as once Maricopa is done, the chances for Lake or Gay to win would pretty much be definite. So that's on the Senate race side. On the presidential race, 77% of the vote is in. Donald Trump currently has a lead of about six points over Kamala Harris, 53 to 47. This one, I think, just like in the Senate race, they're waiting for more votes to come in out of Maricopa County. Trump currently has a five-point lead in Maricopa County, and Trump currently has, uh, or excuse me, with 23% uh, left, Trump has a five-point lead. Trump lost his county to Joe Biden in 2020, so the fact he's even winning it shows Trump is outperforming his 2020 numbers in Maricopa County. I'm more surprised the presidential race on the New York Times map has not been called yet. I think they're just counting all the votes and being 100% sure. But Trump with a six-point lead where he's winning Maricopa County by five, I think the presidential race in Arizona is very safe to call. I don't think there's a way Kamala Harris comes back and wins Arizona. I really don't see that path right now. Trump is outperforming Cary Lake by anywhere from 4 to 5% in a lot of these counties. And I think it's certainly looking like Trump is going to win Arizona. So this one shouldn't take much longer. The Senate race is going to take a lot longer, but this should be called relatively pretty soon. In Mojave County, again, 78-22 for Trump, 9% to go there. Pima, 27% left, 58-41. Trump's performing better there. Cochise, 67-32. Navajo, Apache, Cococino, Maricopa is where all the eyes are right now. But the way it stands right now is the Senate race is going to be a very, very close margin, likely under 1% margin of victory for either Gallego or Lake, depending on how it goes. The presidential race, we're going to have to wait and see, but I think Trump's going to win it and probably by over 3% margin of victory right now, based on the math that's still out there. But they're going to count the votes. We're going to wait and see how that goes. In the meantime, that is it for my update for the state of Arizona. Just a little quick update. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a like, click subscribe, share it with your friends and family, and hope to see you in a future video. That will do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to give it a like. And if you really liked it, please remember to click the subscribe button and make sure you turn post notifications on so you always get notified when I post a new video. That way you never miss one. Also, please remember to share this video with your friends and family if you really, really, really liked the video. And remember to stay tuned because I'll be posting at least one video every single day 
leading up until election day. So I'd really appreciate it if you keep coming back and watching those videos. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in a future video.